Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library. And today I would like to show you an e-learning resource called Gale Courses. So the way you get there is to go to our website, sapl.ca, and you're going to click on e-library. And that's going to bring you to this page here. And we can scroll further down the page or we can use the filter and just tap on learn. And that brings up all our e-learning databases. So the one we're looking at today is called Gale Courses. So we're just going to tap on the more on there. And that brings you to this page. It tells you a little bit about what are Gale Courses, how to access it, their help site, and their privacy policy in terms of reference. So we're just going to tap on Gale Courses to access it. And I actually already have it open, so we're just going to close a couple of those windows. There we go. So this is what you see when you first click on Gale Courses. And this landing page will show you how to enroll. So if you've never used Gale Courses before, if you're a new student, as soon as you choose a course that you want to take and tap Enroll, you'll be prompted to create an account. And once you've done that, then you'll use your login and credentials that you use to, that you use to set up this account. Um, and you'll be able to get into all your courses. So let's jump in and see what Gale Courses looks like. So the first thing I want to tell you about Gale Courses is that it is instructor-led. They are six-week instructor-led online classes, so different than lynda.com. We looked at that a few weeks ago. It's a fantastic e-learning resource as well, but it's a learning at your own pace. Gale Courses has an actual instructor, and they're six weeks long, and let's take a peek at one of them. So we're just going to go under, let's look under personal development. So right now I'm just browsing the catalog. I'm going to tap on children, parents, and family. So this will bring up all the different courses that fall under that category of children, parents, and family. Now you'll see here along the black bars, it will say start date, June 17th, July 15th, etc. Those are the start dates for all the classes on Gale courses. So the next one is coming up next week on June 17th, and that's on the Wednesday. So you can register before June 17th, or you can register the week after June 17th. And anything past that, then you can't get into the class until the next start date. So let's jump in and look at one of these classes and see what it looks like. So we're going to do, let's have a look at Ready, Set, Read. So we're going to just tap on the title because we want to actually read about the course. So this gives you a description of what the course is about. It gives you a description of the person that is teaching the course. And these are instructors are experts in their fields. It, the thing I like is it actually gives you the syllabus so you know what you're going to have to do for each of the courses. So you can see what they're gonna be covering in week one and week two. Something to note about Gale courses, if you don't complete weeks one and weeks two in the first 14 days, you're automatically dropped from the course, which means you would have to wait until the next session the following month to be able to, to enroll again. So this is nice because it gives you an idea of everything that's gonna be covered and what's involved. Some courses have requirements. We'll have a look at this one. So this one, there's some hardware requirements, some software requirements, and then you need to be able to have email and access email, but there aren't any prerequisites and all the course materials will be included in the enrollment. So over on the right, you'll see that it is six weeks duration. There's all the different start times. It's 24 hours, but you're not actually doing it for 24 hours a day. It means that you can work on it any time of the day. And some classes will have student reviews. Let's see if this one has had any reviews. Yes. So you can read through these and it will give you a, an indication of what people that have taken this course before thought of it. So that's a great way to see if you wanted to take it. So we're going to go back to detail. So let's say you read through all of this and you think, yep, I'm going to take this course. So you're going to tap on enroll now and then you choose a start date. So we're going to choose June 17th. We're going to continue enrollment. Now this is where if you've never taken a Gale course before, you're going to click on create new account. This is where you would enter your email address and then it would prompt you for the next page where you would create a password and that sort of thing. If you've already taken a class, you can just go over here and put your email address in there and your password and you'll be right into your classroom right up here under my classroom. We're not going to do that right now. I just wanted to show you that that's how you create your account. It's very easy and again it's on the first page too. It shows you how to do it and it shows that if you don't um, complete and view lessons one and two within 13 days after the start date of the course, you're automatically dropped. So something to keep in mind, make sure that you're keeping up with the first two lessons. So let's see what else is in here. 
So there's a little bit of everything in here. There's lots of computer applications. These are quite popular. So let's say you are wanting to brush up on some of the Microsoft products like Excel and Word, um, Publisher, all of PowerPoint, etc. All of these are in there. Something to watch. You can see where it says Publisher 2010. Make sure that whatever version you have is the version that you're taking. There are differences between it. So you can see these are all looking like they're Microsoft 2010. I believe they also have some Microsoft 2016 as well, uh, 2010 right there. So just keep an eye on if you're doing anything to do with software that you're making sure that you have the same version as what the class is being taught. So that's just some of the, some of the computer applications that was Microsoft we looked at. Let's look at what's under design and composition. So there's some classes that aren't um, computer-based classes like software. This is actually on photography. So let's take a look at Secrets of Better Photography. So this looks like a fun class, basically teaching you how to take good pictures. And this one probably has student reviews if I had to make a guess. Yep, it does. It has some requirements as well. There's all your requirements. So you have to have a digital camera and of course PC and the system requirements. So these all work the same, all the courses. They're all going to have the detail, syllabus, requirements, and sometimes they'll have student reviews. So we're going to tap back on View Catalog just so you can get a sense of what you can take in here. So that was under Design and Composition. You can see there's also Web Design. So if, you're, if you really want to know how to, to write websites and Web Design, you can do that in there. Healthcare and Medical is a popular one because there's actually some courses in here that help you get a certificate. So we're going to tap on Healthcare Certificate. And there we are. So you can get a certificate in meditation. So let's just tap on that. It's an eight hour, it looks like, that you have to do. Yes, eight hours total to get the certificate. And at the end, let's just see what it says here. Eight contact hours. There's This one is actually accredited. So depending on your who your employer is, they might say that this is okay, that they might take this as accreditation. So you can show them the classes. So some of these you can actually apply to your work. And you can see we're right now we're still under healthcare. Lots of things in here. Some of these are going to have, let's just tap on introduction to medical terminology. Some of them are going to have requirements, not just hardware requirements, but actual prereqs. Now this one doesn't have a prerequisite. I'm just gonna try and find one that does have a prerequisite so you can see. It's usually some of the more advanced classes. Let's have a peek here and see if we can find one. And if we can't, that's okay too. There we go. We're going to tap on that certifi certificate in holistic and integrative health. So let's see what requirements it has. Oh, no prereqs for this one either. Well, you will eventually find some that have courses that you have to take first in Gale, but there aren't that many. So that's healthcare and medical language and arts. You can see there's lots of different things in there you can take. Law and legal. Professional development is a big one right now that I would encourage you to look at. So there's lots of fantastic courses in there. Teaching and education. This one I think is quite handy. So if you're a teacher, there are tools for teachers. So there are courses here that you can use for teaching, for leadership. If you are working in an environment where you're in, in a leadership leadership position, you might find some courses in here that you'd find useful. So lots of fantastic courses. Now I'm just going to make this so that we can see more at once. Right now we're only seeing 10 classes at once. So you can see there's grant writing, all sorts of things for classrooms. So enhancing language development in childhood. Lots of fantastic courses. Now let's say you don't want to view the catalog that you kind of have in mind what you're looking for. I'm going to tap on teaching. I'm going to keyword search this teaching online. Let's see if they have any courses on how to teach online. So they have a few things using the internet in the classroom that definitely would be applicable. Integrating technology in the classroom again, that would be that's definitely along the lines of teaching online, not quite what I'm looking for. Creating a classroom website. That's a big one right now when all our, our students are having to work and learn from home. So let's just tap on that. So if you're a teacher, this is definitely a section that you're going to want to go to. You can see there are lots of courses that might be useful to you. And the way I got to that is going to bring us back home here. 
is by keyword searching. So I did teaching online. So you can do keyword searches as well instead of just browsing through the, this is called the catalog here on the left that I'm tapping on. So you can either view that or you can do a search. And if you're stuck in Gale, you're having some problems, you can tap on their help site right there. And this will walk you through how to browse. It will talk to you about what are instructor like courses. You can see all the different things on the left there of what, what are under those help topics. But the main things you're going to be looking at are the catalog. And if I was logged in and I tapped on my classroom, all the classes that I'm enrolled in, I would see them under here right now. Now, if you are someone who's already taken a lot of Gale courses, instead of browsing this whole catalog here on the left, you might just want to tap on new. And this will only bring up courses that are new to Gale. So that's a great way to just kind of pop in and see, well, what's changed? Maybe there's something else that I haven't taken yet that I'd like to take. So if you have not tried Gale Courses, I highly recommend you try it out. It's a really nice compliment to lynda.com. Gale Courses, as I mentioned before, they are instructor-led six-week online courses. And lynda.com is a nice compliment to this one because that one is where you learn at your own pace. So these two are really complementary to each other. So I would highly encourage you to check it out today. Thank you.